It turns out that there are many planets that could potentially sustain life. Unfortunately, they are all an incredibly far distance away from our Earth. Stay tuned for the eight planets that may be able to sustain human life in the future. Number eight, KOI 7711.01. In total, there are 4,496 planets that the Kepler Space Telescope has predicted exist, with more than half being confirmed planets. Of those planets, 30 of them are sized similarly to Earth and are in the habitable zone next to their star. That's great news for future travelers looking to flee Earth to somewhere new. One of these potential planets that could sustain life is known as KOI 7711.01. Added to the confirmed planet list in 2017, this spectacular place might be the planet most like Earth ever found. It's 1,700 light years away and orbits a star that's a lot like our own Sun. So what's so special about KOI 7711.01? Well, it's about 30% larger than the Earth and it's in the habitable zone. This means that it gets the right amount of heat to warm the planet like Earth. Plus, the solar warmth on this planet could help produce liquid water on the planet's surface. Now, don't get your spaceship ready and plot course to KOI just yet. There's still a lot scientists don't know about this planet. Although we get a similar amount of heat on Earth as they do on KOI 771.01, we don't know whether it's really Earth's twin. Before people will travel there, assuming that we ever become technologically advanced enough to do so, we need to learn about the planet's atmosphere and whether there's water on the planet as of now. And those are two really large ifs when it comes to sustaining life on another planet. Number seven, Kepler 186f. Another planet that humans could potentially live on is Kepler 186f. This planet is incredibly special to humans as it is the first validated Earth-sized planet that orbits a star in the habitable zone. Therefore, this planet gets enough energy from the Sun from its distance away from its star. Plus, it's in just the right location to potentially have water on its surface. Kepler 186f is really cool because it started things off when it came to searching for Earth-like planets. It was humans first confirmation that other planets like the Earth might actually exist. These planets are also our best chances of species survival in the event of a worldwide catastrophe. Kepler is very close sized to Earth, with Kepler 186f being even less than 10% larger. The only problem is that scientists don't know what its mass composition or density are. But don't despair, scientific research suggests that based on its orbital pattern and location, this planet is most likely rocky. And that's good news for us, as we would hate to try and land on a gassy planet only to find out it doesn't support life. Now, from what we do know, Kepler 186f is very different from the Earth in a number of ways. First, its year is only 130 days long. It's also at the outer edge of the habitable zone, so the sun from that planet is as dim as our sun an hour before sunset. That means Kepler 186f doesn't receive nearly as much energy from its sun as we do from ours here on Earth. Number six, Gliese 832c. Back in 2014, a group of astronomers at the University of New South Wales predicted the existence of a planet they called a super-Earth. They were looking at some planetary bodies that were previously discovered near the habitable zone of Gliese 832, which was best known as an exoplanet similar to Jupiter. Then they discovered Gliese 832c. The planetary system surrounding Gliese 832 is almost a miniature version of our own planetary system. That's because it has a giant outer planet and an interior, potentially rocky planet. Just like with every other planet that has been discovered in a habitable zone, we're uncertain as to what the atmosphere is like on Gliese 832c. However, we do know that there are a few interesting things that might change your thoughts on one day moving to this super-Earth. First, a year passes incredibly quickly, in only 35.68 days. 
The mass is over five times larger than Earth's. On the other hand, it gets about the same amount of energy from its sun as we do from ours. Regardless, if there is a similar atmosphere on this planet, then it has Earth-like temperatures that shift suddenly during the seasons. This would make seasonal shifts incredibly extreme, as it could potentially go from super cold to super hot. And there's even a chance that this planet is more like Venus, and instead is too hot for life. Number 5. Ross 128 Last year, scientists made an exciting discovery when they located the planet Ross 128b. So why was the scientific community so interested in the news? Because there are many great things that make Ross 128b a great planet for potentially sustaining life. First, there's the fact that Ross 128b is very temperate. Scientists predict that the temperature of Ross 128b is very similar to that of the Earth's. That's because it orbits a red dwarf, one of the most common, coolest, and faintest types of star in the universe. It's also much easier for scientists to find planets that are like Earth around red dwarfs than it is to find them around stars like our Sun. Second, the Earth-sized planet is very close to Earth, at only 11 light years away. It's the second closest temperate planet ever detected. Plus, because the Sun it orbits is inactive, life might have a much easier time flourishing on this planet than others we've discovered. Third, the Sun that Ross 128b orbits is much quieter than most suns. What this means is that there aren't any solar flares all the time that launch deadly ultraviolet rays and X-rays toward the planet. This is a common thing for red dwarf stars to do, but not a risk on Ross 128b, fortunately. Plus, the planetary system is moving towards us, meaning it'll become our stellar neighbor in about 79,000 years. That sounds like a long time, but compared to the age of most planets, it's only really a short time from now. Number 4. Proxima Centauri's Proxima b The closest star to our Sun is known as Proxima Centauri, and it's only 4.2 light years or 25 trillion miles away. Proxima Centauri's planetary system hosts Proxima Centauri b, a planet that sits in the habitable zone, yet whose habitability hasn't been totally established. Although there's a chance, depending on what the atmosphere is like, that Proxima Centauri b can host life, there are also some factors that suggest that even if this was possible, we humans probably wouldn't want to live there. For example, the stellar wind pressures faced on Proxima Centauri b from the star are violent, and over 2,000 times what we experience here on Earth. In addition to this, Proxima Centauri is known as a flare star, and goes through rapid changes in brightness and energy emissions that create solar storms. Therefore, it's possible that Proxima b is irradiated if it doesn't have a strong magnetic field or a protective atmosphere. Even within all these hazards, if everything is perfect, then there could be a hospitable environment on this planet. Water and a strong atmosphere could make this potentially scary planet cool. With oceans and temperature close to Earth's, this would make a very large portion of the planet habitable, although it would be the side facing away from the sun. Number three. Kepler-62f Nearly 1,200 light-years away in the constellation of Lyra is the star Kepler-62 and the planet Kepler-62f. Kepler-62f is a super-Earth exoplanet that orbits the outer area of the habitable zone. There's a good chance that it's a rocky or ocean-covered planet, making it a great but far away contender for a planet that can sustain human life. There are some interesting things about Kepler-62f. Its year is about 267 days, and it receives 59% less sunlight than our Earth. Because of its age, there's a good chance that there's a substantial amount of water on the planet. It's also possible that the planet is completely covered by ocean. There's a lot we still need to learn before heading over there. Due to the distance the planet is from the sun, there's also a chance that the planet is covered entirely in ice. However, scientists believe that there are more scenarios of the planet being habitable than not, meaning it has a great potential for the future. Number 2. KOI 7923.01 Imagine a planet that's very similar to Earth. A year is roughly the same amount of time at 395 days. The planet is 97% the size of Earth. Sounds like a great potential planet to host life, right? 
Well, there's one minor issue. Because the planet is further from the sun than our planet and their sun is colder, a recently discovered Earth-like planet, AOI 7923.01, probably has a climate that's tundra most of the time. The good news, however, is that it's still warm enough to hold liquid water. Not much else is known about KOI 7923.01 at this time. However, scientists will investigate this planet in the future, as it's just one of 30 known habitable planets. NASA and other space agencies will research life on these planets further in the future. Number one, the Trappist's planet. Back in 2016, scientists discovered seven rocky planets in the planetary system known as the Trappist planet. Three of these seven planets are located within the habitable zone and are like the size of Earth. At only 43 light years away, these were exciting discoveries because scientists had never found so many alien worlds in one planetary system. However, just like every other planet that could be habitable to human life, we need more research. That's because there's a chance that intense radiation and particles from the nearby star might have stripped the atmosphere from the planets. This, of course, will reduce the likelihood that life can form and thrive. Plus, it could be that these planets are tidally locked. That's because they're all so close to neighboring planets, therefore temperatures will fluctuate considerably unless they have strong atmospheres. Overall, however, it's exciting news that planetary bodies that are habitable to human life might not be as rare as originally believed. Now, before you turn off your phone to clean your room, why not subscribe to our channel? Why, you ask? Because we here at Insane Curiosity produce great content each and every week. Don't miss a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.